it's your boy like back in with another YouTube video and um today we're doing um a tier ranking video honestly um I've never done one of these on this channel and it's going to be the MCU movies um tier ranking here uh just a disclaimer this is all my opinion um you can like what you like um and yeah whatever um so yeah, I never never did one on one of these on this channel. I've done it on my other channel before, but yeah, I do plan on ranking stuff on this channel. Like I will probably end up doing the other Marvel movies that aren't the MCU, like uh, stuff like Daredevil, Ghost Rider, uh, Fantastic Four, X Men, all those things. I'll definitely do. But yeah, um, if we look here, we're doing the MCU. I believe all the MCU movies are here. Um, I made sure to check, but in case there's something that's not here, just leave it down in the comments down below, and, yeah. Uh, I'll remember for when I do, like, an updated version, maybe. But, yeah, I've, I've recently watched all these movies, at least, I've, I've watched at least all these movies at least five times each in my lifetime, so, yeah, let's just get into this. Uh, Avengers... Avengers was definitely a cool movie. Um, my apologies for the circling mouse. I don't know what's wrong with it, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna definitely put it under good. Uh, there's certain things I don't like. Uh, I like about the movie, and I don't like. Um, yeah, that, that's just my opinion. Uh, Incredible Hulk. Uh, this is, I think it's called Incredible Hulk, but the Hulk movie. Um, it's uh it's an it's an all right movie honestly I'm gonna put it under likable, not a huge fan uh to be honest with you, there's certain aspects I I don't like the final battle I don't really like the ending too too much, I mean I like Abomination the way they set him up is definitely cool, um same with some of the stuff they do in the Hulk it's definitely cool, uh Captain America First Avenger, now I know a lot of people don't necessarily like the, they like Winter Soldier before this movie and stuff but personally I love this movie I like I like all four or all, all three Captain America movies he's my favorite character out of the MCU probably um so yeah I'm definitely gonna put it out best um I, I, I just think he's, it's that good uh next up I believe it's Iron Man 2 now I know some people are like Iron Man 2 is wor the worst MCU movie ever. Um, yeah, just in my opinion, to be honest with you, I personally, it's likable. It's, <laughs> I know some people don't like Whiplash and stuff, but personally, I, I kind of enjoy the movie. I mean, I can understand why you don't like it, especially with, like, Justin Hammer. It didn't make sense too much with him. And the Whiplash fight wasn't too, too well done. Uh, I like the character development, though, of the characters and stuff. Um, especially uh, the character development of, like, Iron Patriot. Or he's not called War Machine or whatever in this movie. Um, he's definitely a good character development as well. So I'm going to put this on likable. Uh, not my favorite, but still a good movie. Uh, Avengers Infinity War. Do I even have to say anything? This is going, obviously best great movie um probably my top five of mcu movie movies uh black panther i'm definitely going with best um definitely one of my top five favorite movies i really like black panther um i, I really like the character it's very good um i mean i like the movie the, from the villains to black panther himself to sporting cast everything about it is just awesome to me um, Captain America Winter Soldier. Um, definitely, I'm going to put it under best. It's a good movie. Uh, I definitely like it a lot. Um, yeah, next up is Ant-Man and the Wasp. To be honest with you, I don't really like this movie. I can watch it, like, I can watch it completely fine with no fast-forwarding, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't seem like a very good movie I don't really like it too much at least um yeah I'm not I'm not a huge fan of um Ant-Man and the Wasp um what really saves is probably there's some funny stuff in the movie um 
But yeah, it feels like they're trying to balance a lot of comedy from the cast and stuff. It's hard to explain, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it on not okay because I don't really like it. I'm I'm just gonna say that. Uh, Thor Ragnarok is another good movie. I really enjoy Thor, Thor Ragnarok thoroughly. I enjoy everything about it. Music, characters, um. The scenes, like the setting and stuff, it's really awesome. I, character development's well done too. Um, really good movie. I really enjoy it. Uh, next up is Avengers Endgame. I, I don't even have to explain this. It's best. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Volume Two. Now, in my opinion, the bar was set really high with Guardians of the Galaxy One. That's just my opinion. Um. And it doesn't live up to the hype of the uh, first one. It's definitely not a better one than the first one. But it's still a good movie. I still enjoy it. Um, I'm, I'm not going to put it in best. I'm probably going to just put it in like good. Um, yeah. Uh, Thor. Personally, I think Thor is the worst movie in the MCU. I can't even lie. Thor is probably the worst than Thor The Dark World. Thor is just terrible in my opinion. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm putting it under dumb. Um, yeah, next up is Doctor Strange. To be honest with you, I could watch the whole movie fine. It's just some of the... I, I don't really like it to be... Like, I like it. It's likable. Um, just not the best, to be honest with you. Um, I hope Doctor Strange 2 is better than this. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge 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 fan of it but uh, I definitely will watch it if someone asked me to watch it with them or whatever but yeah other than that I'm just gonna put it in likable um Iron Man I'm probably gonna put it under good I mean I'm not an insane huge fan where I think it should be in best um just because I uh, I don't know. I just don't really think it should be in best. Some people definitely think it'll be in best, but I, I personally don't think that. Uh, next up is Avengers: Age of Ultron. Um, honestly, Avengers: Age of Ultron, in my opinion, isn't very good. <laughs> I mean, Ultron is very like changed in this. Like, he's not supposed to go down that easy. He's like a Thanos level villain, which I don't understand. But um. We do get introduced to Vision and the Quicksilver and uh, Scarlet Witch and that, so I think I think I'm gonna put it in uh, not okay because I don't really like it too much. I think it's uh, Ant Man and the Wasp level. Uh, Gardens of the Galaxy. I really love this movie. I'm gonna put it in best. Um, I really like it. Obviously, I said before, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is a step down from that. But I, I can't wait to see what James Gunn does with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I hope it's really good. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get some new like uh, Guardians members. That will be cool. Uh, Captain America Civil War. like it. I think it should be best. Very good mu movie. Um, and yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, this is like another kind of controversial kind of film. I'm not. A lot of people don't like this film because of the way the scrolls are in it. But personally, I actually like it. Um, I like how it turns. It kind of makes the Kree look like the bad guys for a change. Because usually we're seeing scrolls look like the bad guys. But in this, we're making them look. They look like more of a good guy. And uh, yeah. I, in my opinion. It, and it also. I can understand why you don't like it from that point. And also, it kind of screws up Secret Wars. I'm, as you know, the MCU show is probably going to come out soon. And yeah, I'm kind of curious what the heck they're going to do with that. Because Scrolls are technically good guys in this. So, yeah. I kind of like it. I mean, I, I'm going to put it as good, honestly. Um, Not my favorite, obviously. But I can tolerate it and it, it's alright. Um... Ant-Man, I'm definitely going to just put it out likable. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not too 
too big of a fan of Ant Man's character, to be honest with you. He's funny at sometimes because he's played by Paul Rudd, but he's a pretty funny guy. But other than that, I, I don't really like Ant Man too too much. Um, I like it more than I like the Ant Man and the Wasp, but yeah. Uh, Spider Man and Homecoming. Um, is a good movie. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I know some people are like, oh, he shouldn't be, um, like, some puny kid and his Iron Man sidekick. To be honest with you, I can look past that just to, um, but I still enjoy everything about the film. I enjoy the villain. The villain's great. Music's well done. Setting's good. All, all character development's good as well. We see, uh, Spider-Man become, like, sort of like a better hero. Which is good. Um, I, I really enjoy that. Um, yeah, I don't think it's best worthy yet. Um, I think if Spider-Man 3 is going to be as good as people are going to say it is, like with a whole bunch of Spider-Man, um, I'm definitely going to put it probably put it in the best. But it depends on how they do it. Uh, let's go with Iron Man 3. Um, obviously controversial again because... Of Iron Man and the Mandarin not even really being the Mandarin. It's being Aldrich Killian. So, yeah, I can see why people don't like this movie. But personally, I like it. Um, I think, I think I'm think i going to put it um, good. What really stops it from being a best movie, at least in my opinion, is the villain. It's just... I could get behind Aldridge Killing being the villain, but why'd you have to put use the Mandarin's name? Uh, <laughs> yeah, next up is Thor The Dark World. I don't even like that movie. It's terrible. Or actually, I'll just put it as dumb. I, do, I don't like the movie at all. I mean, yeah, I really don't like anything about it. The villain's just terribly done. Um, and yeah, I don't really like the characters at all. The story is stupid. I don't really like it at all. Um, I mean, it does introduce us to the reality stone, but it calls it the ether. But uh, in my opinion, um, what really saves it from being what is the fight scenes are pretty pretty well done, honestly. So, yeah, and same with Thor. The fight scenes are well done, so I, I just allowed it. But the story for both the movies suck. Um, okay, and last but not least, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. In my opinion, I think Homecoming is a better movie. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, but I think they could be ranked the same and good. I really like it. I think Mysterio is a really well done... Sorry, I just hit my mic there, but... I think Mysterio is a really well done villain. Um, and yeah, it... Um, introduces us to well it doesn't introduce us but um, like Nick Fury's in it which is really cool um, and yeah like I said before Spider-Man isn't some whiny kid in this one or at least he's not as much as he was in Hope coming that's for sure like there's no yeah yeah he has like Happy and stuff in it Nick Fury and all this all these people but I still think I, I think he, he's better in this in this movie. And Mysterio is definitely a cool character. I really enjoyed his character. Mysterio is probably one of my favorite villains of Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.